Aw, Elle, I'm so happy for you. This man here is in love. I'm just interested in doing things that kind of interest me and are kind of challenging. Um, and I thought this could be really interesting. If they get the balance right, this could be really good. Because, I mean, I think Josh spoke briefly about pennies from heaven and seeing things like that and that kind of being an inspiration. And again, I grew up on that stuff in London. And to get the balance of serious drama and music, it was trying to do that without it sort of going, and here's another number. Yeah. And here's another, you know. You have a musical background yourself. Indeed. So I wondered how did that come into play? Did that help you with the, filming these lip syncing scenes? I think it helped in knowing how the sound is created. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there are different schools of thought. Some people are like with lip syncing and stuff like that, which I'm actually not sure whether we're allowed to mention now. Oh. That at one point, they were like, don't say it's lip sync. And you're like, <laughs> what is it then? <laughs> anyway, but some people, there's a school of thought that you know you just sort of mime to it, but it's about the breath and catching those breaths at the same time as the singer is doing it. So you actually have to emit some kind of sound in order to do that. Um, so I think the knowledge of singing the music definitely did help because some of the songs were really bloody hard that I got. Let's start with the songs about desire and longing. Stand by. Crashing. Songs about the struggle to find love. I'm so in love with you. Falling in it. I just want you. They're very involved. There's some dancing in some of them. Yes. I'm thinking of the one, but it's like a Good tracking luck. shot. Oh no, is that bloody. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that song. Yeah, that was a tough one in particular. Oh my God. Well, it was, th the thing is, it was my least favorite song and mm. it seemed to last forever. I seem to be doing this song every week mm -hmm. for about two months. And it's just <laughs> like, geez, can we finish well, it? It is a beautiful sequence. No, it's good. They, I'm sure that they did a fantastic job with it. Do you know, you're so preoccupied, mm -hmm. or rather I am, mm -hmm. I can't speak for everybody, else, but you're so preoccupied in it not looking or feeling sort of like the cool marquee mm -hmm. that you, I mean, I was just totally, there's no time for fantasy. It's just like, did I hit that breath? Did I catch that one? What about mm. that? Did I come in on the right note? Blah, blah, blah. It's that's, you know, huh. yeah, no. I mean, more with the, uh, have you seen episode five? Yes. Right, more the Etta James thing. Mm -hmm. That was like very, that was very fantasy kind of mad yeah. thingy. Is there a song, or, or just an example of a song in your life that you really feel like you connected with on a certain way? Like there are certain things I'll hear again and it immediately transports me back to a certain time, place. Um, kind of Blue, the album, Miles Davis, mm -hmm. will remind me of my wedding. Mm -hmm. That one, yeah. And there's other little songs that just sort of like, you'll remind you of your child yeah. or what have you. But I love music, so it's like my whole life is one song or piece of music mm -hmm. after the other. So we're never asked to choose anything. It's very <laughs> yes, difficult. Yes, I, I shouldn't have made you choose. That yeah, no, I'm not <laughs> choosing. Sing from sadness. Sing in joy. Sing with faith. Because each one of us has a soundtrack. And it tells the story of all we have loved. 